Gadiele Arusho, a very interesting presentation with the diesel clock. Tell us a little about it. Uh, four million some uh, gallons of uh, fuel saved with diesel cars with Audi. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. We're launching four new models. We're launching an A8, A6, A7, uh, and, of course, the uh, Q5. And the story is quite simple, uh, 30% uh, fuel efficiency savings with diesel. And uh, we've run some interesting calculations on uh, A3s and, of course, Q7s that are on the road today. And that's the saving that you've seen uh, to there, over 4 million <laughs> that's, gallons. That's pretty amazing. And Audi has been like a leader in Europe for, for many years with diesel, not only production cars, but also in competition cars. And that's where you got some of your inspiration or, or your findings for this uh, new, new model exactly line, right? Exactly right. I mean, we wanted to dramatically dispel all the myths about diesel. Myths that it's not clean, it's not fast, and all that noisy. nonsense. And noisy. And the best way to do that was to go to Le Mans, uh, where we uh, launched our uh, TDI race car. And clearly what we did is we mopped up. We mopped up and we won. And the trick was, everyone said with Le Mans, it's always better to go faster, go faster, go faster. Yeah, speed is good, <laughs> uh, but not coming into the pits. Yeah. And refueling is good as well. And that's why we've won. First to do it. And uh, it's worked perfectly. But that sent a message now to the market that this could be ready for the road. And that's what we did. And you have some records in Le Mans and some other competitions. And now you have records in sales here in the U.S. You're doing really well we thanks do. to this and other models. Exactly right. We're going to have a record year this year. And uh, we'll probably sell nearly 139,000 units this year. And this will be a record for us in the United States. So it's a very big year for us. Yeah. And also big news uh, coming up from Mexico because you're building a new plant to, to supply the demand here in the U.S. too, right? That's exactly right. And uh, the plant will be open in 2000. 2016, uh, the Q5 SUV will be made there in Mexico, and we think this is a great opportunity. It gets the market close to the manufacturing, uh, brings cars here a lot faster, and of course opens up a lot of opportunities. So we're excited by the plant coming online. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time, and congratulations on that the diesel clock that you're running up there. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much. I appreciate it. Esto es Autos 060 y como les digo siempre, no quiten la vista de la carretera y mantengan los oídos en Autos 060. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.